More New Yorkers fed up with traffic. A futuristic answer may be closer than you think. Owning a car that drives you will soon be a reality. Yes, this, of course, the race to launch driverless cars, and Ford is speeding ahead of the competition, promising to have new cars on the road by 2021. <clears throat> Our tech expert, Shelley Palmer, is here to tell us about the automaker's recent announcement. Shelley, good morning Hello. to you. Good morning, how are you? So what's this, what's this going to look like? What are these cars going to look like? You know, we're in a really interesting technological time. You've got three technologies coming together to make a really interesting day for the auto industry. Driverless cars are coming very soon. The CEO of Ford announced with, by 2021 they'll have driverless cars in, in, for fleets. But you also have uh, ride hailing, which has changed kind of the world. That's Uber and Lyft and all those other guys. And when you start thinking about um, putting together ride hailing, autonomous cars, and then electric cars, now we have a really interesting set of technologies that are really going to change the auto industry. So the cars don't have to look like the cars we're in. It's actually going to change a lot. It's just yeah. going to change society because people who don't have driver's licenses right. will be able to get in cars. And, and, you don't, and cars may hold one person because they don't need a driver. Or if you have a two-person car, there's no driver in the so car. So will it make it safer for us well, the on the road? Well, according to, to Ford, there won't be a steering wheel, a brake, or a gas pedal. So ultimately, it'll be a lot safer because you're getting into a module that's going to take you from place to place. So, so what they're trying to do is redefine transportation, not necessarily remake cars. It's a completely different way to approach the business. How would you get from here to here? What does it mean to get from here to here? Not what will you do with a car or for a car. It's a pretty different way to think about it. So I have a really stupid question. So when you get in the car, theoretically, will the car already know where you want to go or do so you have to put that, you have to program are, that in? No, that's a great question and it's not a stupid question at all. There are two things going on here. You've got Google and Apple and Tesla who are tech companies that are getting into the auto business and then you've got all the other nine automakers who are auto companies wanting to get into the tech business. So these cars are computer controlled. Imagine just uh, on your handheld using Google Maps or whatever whatever we're going to use then, your glasses, your special tattoo, however we're going to, oh five God. years out, oh, five years out, you tell the car where you want to go before you get there. A car pulls up, get in the car and go. And if it's, they're, now the Ford guys are thinking about fleets only. First time that they put cars like this out that drive themselves won't be for us to buy. They'll sell them to fleets like Uber, to ride sharing services, to reduce their costs and to make those ride sharing services more efficient. But as you know, that's Ford's idea, not necessarily everybody else's. Everybody else is going to be competing to sell you a driverless car. Well, here's the thing. I've been told I have a lead foot. I like to get places fast, safely but fast. So will, will these little units be fast? I mean, or, what do we know about well, sort of, I guess, the speeds? I, I would argue that they're going to drive the speed limit because that's what they're going to do, uh, which might make a lead-footed driver who is very safe but lead-footed, uh, somewhat depressed. The good news is yeah. there's a lot more room on I the concur. road. And here's what's really funny. You know, you start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. A computer-controlled car, especially one that's aware of its surroundings, will be exactly the right distance and the right speed behind the car in front of it. So you'll actually get there faster because you're not doing the start, stop, start, okay. stop, and there's no human reaction time for a whole line of cars. So in that practice, going slower, you'll go faster. Wow. Very nice. All right, Shelly Palmer. I love this. Alrighty. Thank you so much. Thank you.